very important legislation that you're introducing today. We are not alone in Pennsylvania. We are just one of many states that are considering the effects of the death penalty. In fact, in 2009, 11 states considered deleting executions completely from their criminal justice system. And around this time last year, New Mexico became the second state to abolish the death penalty in recent history. What's the reason for this change? Why this national shift of consciousness? The answer is quite simple. First and foremost, innocence. The national exoneration rate spiked to a shocking 139 in 2009. What that means is that 139 individuals were wrongfully convicted, sent to death row, and came extremely close to being executed before evidence of their innocence was brought forward. Six of those men were from right here in Pennsylvania. And the truth is, we are not out of the dark. We are still at risk of executing innocent people. In fact, in 19, or excuse me, in 2007, the American Bar Association of Pennsylvania reported that PA system is overflowing with flaws, specifically the unrepairable risk of executing the innocent. We must reevaluate the system, put an end to this inherently, inherently flawed system. The second reason for the shift has purely been a question of public policy. The death penalty has been proven to have no deterrent effect on violent crimes. Its existence does not make our communities safer. A national poll of police chiefs recently found that executions are at the bottom of law enforcement priorities. Police chiefs across the nation, <clears throat> excuse me, police chiefs across the country reported that the money saved through the repeal of the death penalty penalty could be more wisely spent on prevention programs and protective equipment for law enforcement. Certainly Pennsylvanians are concerned about where their tax dollars are going, <clears throat> and the death penalty is nothing but a waste of resources. Finally, the death penalty has been found to be extremely biased against people of color and those living in poverty. The, these disparities are yet another reminder of how fatally flawed the system is. Despite all of the facts that I just shared, there are overwhelming myths still clouding the issue of capital punishment. And that's why, at the very least, we must suspend executions and thoroughly study the system. So, in that way, we can move forward in a very unified way. I can safely say that most Pennsylvanians want a fair criminal justice system. The bill to repeal the death penalty being introduced today would be a grand start in making that a reality. Thank you.